So, in the first video, we got it started. We just got it started. Then it conked out. Discovered that that push fit connector on the fuel filter was broken and it was blowing off. So we got that replaced. Job done. So that was good. Little small win there on the first video, getting it running. This video, we need to get all these stripped cables and all these broken connectors. We need to get all these sorted, get them repaired, get the cooling system on, all the rads and the pipes, get it filled up with coolant, and hopefully we can run it up to temperature and uh, we'll have a properly running van. And this inner front wing, we need to get that sorted out. There was a lot of damage on that um, in the impact and I've had to cut it off under here just to um, get, just to get that wheel to turn. So that needs changing as well. But we need to change that before we put the uh, fuse box on, because we can't get that fuse box on that whole, as you can see, that whole wing's just bent in. So if we can't get a fuse box on, there's no point in us putting the rad pack on, putting the headlights on and all that sort of stuff, because we need to take all that off to get that box on. So. That's a, that's a job for starters. So now we're looking at the inner wheel. So it came from the breakers connected to that, connected to the chassis. So I had to split that from there, break those, uh, break those spot welds from there, cut the, I had to cut the back of that actually. It came, actually came in like that. So it was connected to there. So those two went on there. To break all that, cut the back out to get it off, but now I've got it off. They've sent it out, not the full panel, I'll show you in a minute, but they've cut from the salvage yard, they've cut it down here with a, uh, a steel saw, I should imagine. So when I fit it, I need to follow that line from there all the way down. So we're going to try and attempt to do that now and then um, and then we're just going to have to do a, a butt weld all the way through here. This is probably completely the wrong way to do that, but I'm going to do it. So that's all we've got. So I'm going to cut that, cut that down there, down that line, fit the new inner wing um, and then we'll spot weld it and then we'll have to do a, a, a butt weld there. So. Yeah, if, um, if I'm doing it completely wrong, do tell me. But it's what I've got to work with at the moment. Um, I'm confident, I think it'll look good. Let's see how it goes. So as you can see here, I've drilled out these spots where I can, so um, the panel easily comes off. So I'm just gonna cut it down there. And um, now I'm gonna just see what happens when I cut it down there, all right? So. You just hang tight, relax. I don't even know if this um, one is going to get all the way in, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. <laughs>
easy. So, I've noticed that the chassis is bent. It's got a ripple in it here. See that there? So when I put, I cut that um, in a wing, put it on. This is um, this front part here is about thirty mil lower than that side. So I've taken the, um, I've taken it off. I mocked it up. It fits all right. Fits quite well. But <clears throat> obviously, as this is thirty mil lower than it should be, um, it's it's twisted it. So I'm going to attempt to heat it up, get it really really hot just give it a little knock um, and try and get this straight so that's what we're gonna do now we've devised a little plan here so let's see if this works we've got the jack right under the the, the furthest point in the chassis leg and the idea is we jack that up and then heat the heat the kink in the chassis leg get it real hot and hopefully the weight of um, the weight of the van will straighten it up. Now I think I've come up with a cunning plan, but this might be obvious, but it also might not work. But I've um, I've jacked it up just enough so we can turn this wheel. Just it's just almost scraping on the concrete there. So in theory, if that gets hot, start straightening that's going to move up or the whole van is going to move down um, to get that straight and then this will start to scrape on the concrete so I can visually see if it's straightening but I can also move this wheel slightly and if that's starting to be harder to move in theory in my mind anyway it'll uh, it'll be straightening out In theory, for anyone wondering why I've got this here, it's because of all that. We do not want that melting, do we? back to the drawing board I think with this one I think I might have to get it cut just get it cut here get it repaired tried heating it for ages and uh, no it's not really budging so gotta do these things right and uh, gotta get professional in on to the next thing we can't stop I'm having a cup of tea <laughs> I've had my cup of tea, <clears throat> I'm back. So, that was a no-go um, on the chassis leg. So I'm gonna get someone in to have a look at that. Uh, just thought I'd clamp on this inner wing just to see how it goes. And um, yeah, it's sort of, it's almost in the right position down there. And then when you come up here, you can see you've got a sort of You've got a gap there and it's almost tight here which um which also um which also shows that once uh once that comes up more it'll close that gap here and um yeah we'll be able to be able to uh weld it but no 
because I can't get on and do that, I'm gonna do something else. And now I've got this last, I've got this gearbox mount. I had one before, but it was the wrong, it was the wrong mount. So, this mount, this mount goes, got two fixing points at the bottom there and then one at the top in here but as you can see we're about 60 mil short it's also got fixed into the bottom of this chassis link we're about 60 mil short of that so we need to get the the whole gearbox moved up gearbox and engine moved up so i can get it into that as well <laughs> Gearbox mount fitted. So we're at the end of part three. I'm aware I'm making promises and breaking promises. Two parts in a row I said we're going to get these rads on and get it run up to temperature. But it's beyond my capabilities to get that chassis leg straight and that's important. So once we've done that we can get the inner wing on. Once the inner wing's on, we get the fuse box in. Then we do the connectors and repair any cabling that's damaged. Then we get the rads on, get all the hoses on, get it run up to temperature. Um, if I'm honest, this week we just ran out of time as well. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. It's uh, much appreciated if we can. That gets uh, gets a video out to more people, so more people can see me making a pat of myself. Thanks very much. Watch it next week. You never know. Might get this rad pack on. Have a nice week. Adios. do now so that's what we're gonna do now that's what we're gonna do now let's give that a go